starting off the time value of money discussions, <clears throat> we're going to start off with the most basic calculation of interest being simple interest. Here, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't done separate notes for you. The UNISA study guide does not refer to the textbook. It works purely from the study guide and they've laid it out really well. So let's go to page 155 and 156 and then we'll do an example out the UNISA study guide. So on page 155, they start talking about simple interest. Now, what is interest? Interest is the price paid for borrowed money or received for money invested when you lend it to someone else, right? So obviously if you borrow money, say a thousand rand from the bank for two years, you'll have to pay the bank for the use of the money, okay? So you have to, that's what the bank does, right? It lends money out and gets interest back. <clears throat> and this will have a fixed percentage and will also have how often it needs to be paid. So here in this section, we are going to discuss two types of interest rates, simple interest and compound. But for this video, we are purely doing simple interest. Now understand that simple interest is the interest calculated on the principal amount only for the entire term. There is no compounding. So we will have period one and we'll have the principal amount of whatever, a thousand rand. Then we'll have interest, okay, <clears throat> and let's say that's 10%, and it's 10% per annum, and we're going to have one year, okay? So 1,000 times 10% times one year will give us 100. And if we have a second year, again, we'll have a principle of 1,000 times 10% times one year, which will give us another 100 rand interest. Okay, in year three, again, we have a thousand times 10% times one year. Gives us another hundred. So overall, we've got three ends, three periods. Now we could be working in monthly, etc. That you need to look at what the interest rate is, and this interest was per annum. <clears throat> so the total interest here would be 300, the total principal, so let's work that out, that's interest. The principal was still a thousand. So the total that needs to be paid to the bank in three years is for instance, 1,300. So we've got a formula here. And the formula is for interest, the interest is equal to principal times the interest rate percentage times the number of periods. That is our formula for simple interest. Okay, so let's do an example quickly now. So in this example, we have got interest of 15%, a thousand rand, so this is the interest percentage. We've got principal of a thousand, and therefore 150 rand will accrue per year until the loan and the interest are repaid. The value at the end of two years, that is, the N, I've got principal amount is a thousand. I need to add the full interest amount, which is a thousand being the principal times the interest rate percentage times the duration, two years. And the principal plus the interest in Rand value gives me the future value of 1,300. What you will note, if I go back to my previous little illustration, I'm working out interest every year on the original principle. I'm not compounding or adding any of the interest to calculate further interest. Okay, then, and last example, also out of the UNISA study guide, it flows. <coughs> Here, we've got 6,000 Rand principle, 13% simple interest for three years. The amount you'll receive at the end of the three years will be the principal amount of 6,000 plus the interest, which is calculated as principal times the interest rate of 13%, which here I've used a fraction, right? 0, 0,13 times the duration n, which gives me 2,340. I add that to the principal and I get 8,340. Now, what I want you to look at is we might have to go the other way. What happens if I wanted to go from future value 
back to the present value. Well then, we look at our formula here, right? Our formula is made up of the principal amount, if I wanted to go back to, principal would be future value minus interest. All I've done is, is instead of going future value equals principal plus interest, like we've done on top, I've just made the principal the dependent variable. Okay. <clears throat> so I just moved the interest over to the left-hand side of the column and I needed to change the sign. Then it's quite easy. If I was given the future value being 8340, I would then take my principal minus the interest. Okay. Which if I wanted to change it around, pretend I didn't know the principal amount, I would then move everything to the other side and I would go and swap the principal to the other side and change the sign. So principal plus principal times 0, 0,3 times 3 gives me 8340, which is 1,39p equals 8340. Principal then is 8340 divided by 1,39, 6,000. You must be able to work the basic back and forward and you must be able to do your basic algebra. I can't teach that to you again. That's from high school. Okay, let's do another example. Now, example 10.1 out of the ANISA study guide. So page forward a few pages, and let's go. So your mother wants to deposit 2,000 Rand in a bank account that earns 10% simple interest per annum. 10% per year. You are required to determine the value of your mother's investment at the end of the three-year period. So we start off with the principal amount of 2,000. We then work out the interest for three years. So 2,000 times 10% times three years. Once again, principal was 2,000. In my interest calc, principal times the interest percentage, which I just put down as a fraction. 0, 0,1 is equal to 10% <coughs> times the number of years in. Gives me... The total interest of 600. Principal plus interest gives me the future value of 2,600. I could have gone and done this year by year. 2,000 times 10%, 200 for each of the years. And added the 2,000 plus 200 is 2,200. Plus the next 200 is 24. Plus another 200 is 2,600. Either way, I prefer this first way. What happens if there's 20 years? Then you'll take forever to do a table. Okay, so simple interest, done and dusted, no compounding, interest only on the original principal amount for every single year. Nice and easy, make sure you understand all the little workings we've done now. Thank you.